Nebraska's governor says that he wants to limit how much property taxes go up each year. And it's a priority in his new budget, along with building a new state prison. Andrew Ozaki reports that Governor Pete Ricketts says the state still has a chance to grow despite this pandemic. Governor Pete Ricketts gives an upbeat message as the state continues to navigate a historic pandemic. Our state has successfully ensured that everyone that needs a hospital bed, ICU bed, or ventilator has had access to one. His two-year budget adds up to $9.6 billion, a 1.5% increase in spending. The proposal includes $1.36 billion in property tax relief. And Ricketts also wants the state constitution amended to prevent your property taxes from going up more than 3% a year unless there's a vote of the people. New local spending constraints are critical to ensuring the relief we provide goes into people's pockets and to maintain local control in future years. The chair of the legislature's revenue committee says if lawmakers don't act, taxpayers will. If we don't do something, you're going to have a public that's going to take charge and say we can't collect property taxes, period. Other lawmakers say the limit would strip away local control. The budget also includes $250 million to build a new prison, and that concerns Senator Adam Moorfeld. When they have failed to take any actions to reduce the need for that facility over the last six years is concerning. Moorfeld also says the governor didn't talk about the Nebraskans who've died from the pandemic or who are still impacted. So I think that there's a lack of acknowledgement there, and it's good that we have a low unemployment rate, but the bottom line is, is we have a lot of people that have stopped looking for work because their industries are completely wiped out.